All right. Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, as always, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachaha, Kodash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return and double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another um, sit down lesson, which I'm doing on my phone, um, my laptop, which I have just gotten. It's um. I wouldn't say it's it's broken in the sense that I can't use it, but the, the screen is not working. So, I mean, unfortunately, I'm going to have to get me a new laptop. Um, but in the meantime, you know, I'm going to be doing lessons on my phone. So, you know, I mean, again, this is the brother Yashamai coming back at you with another lesson. And this is pretty much going to be a response video to um uh just real quick if i could find it here let's let me go to youtube and do this okay because um you know a lot of brothers have been talking about it um this um matter of fact i should have it saved in my watch history so let's see uh let me see uh, let me see just give me a moment here okay okay yeah, this is also going to be a response to vocab. Mode. Due to social media, they have. But this right here, um, Fred uh, uh, Price Jr. agrees with the Hebrew Israelites. You know, it's going to be a response to this. Um, to, uh, this um, video that was done by the beloved um, Elder Benak de Zagba from South Carolina. OK, um, which he did um, a response to a video that was done by Fred Price Jr., you know, basically agreeing with, you know, our teachings, starting with Great Millstone, which starts with our apostles of Great Millstone, you know, Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Aryamlab, Aryamlab, and Apostle Rakha. Okay. Now, I also wanted to do a response to Vocab Malone, okay? Because Vocab Malone. You know, he basically, you know, did a um a response as to you know how he basically made a remark about you know, geez that that this you know black Hebrew Israelite called it is you know here in Europe too, you know and, and you know. Basically, Great Millstone has always had camps down in Europe long before you even realized that Vocab Malone, you know, and, you know, I went into how, you know, did the Internet, which did a hefty lifting, which the Bible calls the unicorn. It calls the, the, the scriptures call it the line, the broadband. I mean, well, not the broadband, but, you know, the scriptures speak about how their their line has gone throughout all the earth. And their bands to the uttermost part of the earth, which, you know, when you go into that word band, you know, it goes into broadband, which is which is affiliated with the Internet. But this lesson is going to be basically, you know, a response to both of those videos, which which was both done by the beloved uh, Elder Menach de Zagba from South Carolina, you know, because basically, you know, this 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 truth is 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 extremely powerful okay and no matter how much you speak against it you know no matter you know how many times you try to demonize it rather if it be vocab malone rather if it be these false israelite groups ultimately you guys serve even even if you're a false israelite group or, or rather, if you're a vocab Malone, even the black conscious community. OK, there were, you know, there were guys 
who once followed the, the black conscious community, but ended up coming to the Hebrew Israelites. Thanks to polite, you know, running into a uh, apostle Tahar and, 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 you know, the, 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 the apostles and elders down there in um, New York. OK. You know, and then, you know, polite making all these videos, demonizing us, saying all these bad things about us, trying to get the blood in the crypts to come against us. Right. But even in amongst of, of, of the, the black conscious, which is not really conscious, because, I mean, you know, really the black unconscious community, uh, you know, you had, you know, possible mem members of the elect who learned about the truth through the conscious community encountering the Hebrew Israelites. OK, so vocab Malone, you're really no different. You know, you're pretty much the next, you know, black conscious movement that the Lord is using, even though you're not a black conscious movement. But basically, you know, you're basically the, the, the next tool along with these false Israelite groups out there that the Lord is using to basically reel in the Lord's elect so they can ultimately run across the true men of the Lord, which starts with the teachers of Great Millstone, you know, including myself, which I, you know, I, I am uh, with Great Millstone. But, um, you know, I mean, Lord's will, I'm a, a teacher and a prophet of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. I always say Lord's will, you know, because a hey, the Lord can have us teach one minute and have us out the truth the next. So, you know. It's always Lord's will, man. And, you know, the, the Lord loves a, a, a man, a Israelite man with a humble and a contrite spirit, you know, do, doing his will, his his will, the correct way, you know, teaching the 100 percent correct doctrine, you know, and so forth. So. Um, you know, it's always Lord's will, you know, Lord's will will were of the elect. You know. But, um, you know, ultimately, you know, the Lord is using you false Israelite groups. The Lord is using you, Vocab Malone, you know, and, and, and uh, even some of you, 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 you false pastors and Christians out there. The Lord is using y'all ultimately to reel in the elect so the elect can be led to the truth. Because. Not all members of the elect is going to be led directly to Great Millstone. You know, some members of the elect are, are, are uh, they're going to start off watching some of you false Israelite groups. And then ultimately, they're going to be led to Great Millstone. And a matter of fact, I can actually uh, testify to that because when I first woke up to the truth, I started off watching IUIC. I mean, I mean, not IUIC. I started off watching ISUPK, <laughs> okay? Because I remember when I first learned about the truth, I was I remember watching these men who who would dress up in, in in all black. They would have on these black leather bands, wearing sunglasses, out there speaking. I started off watching them, you know. But slowly but surely, you know, the Lord started uh, uh, leading me to Great Millstone videos. Cause yeah, you know, I was watching those guys, you know, I was, I was watching different camps and, you know, but, but once the Lord led me to great millstone, everything just started to make perfect sense. And I, ever since then, I just still were great millstone, you know, because there can only, there can only be one group of men that have the 100% unadulterated truth, you know? So, yeah, there's going to be guys, you know, that's going to be following false Israelite groups. But ultimately, you false Israelite groups out there, you you really serve to reel in the Lord's elect. So ultimately, they can be led to the true men of the Lord who are basically the men following the same teachings as the apostles of Great Millstone. Which starts with, again, Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Ari, Ari Amlab, and Apostle Raka. Okay?
So, uh, 2 Corinthians 13 and 8. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Okay? So we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. You know? So no matter how hard y'all try to come up against us, you know? No matter how much y'all try to demonize us, say that we're grapists, we're pedos, you know, we do this, we, do, we look. The, the scriptures speak about how if it were possible, they shall deceive the Lord's very elect. Because one way or another, something is going to click in the Lord's elect's mind that's going to have them think like, wait a minute, why why are they saying all these, the, you know, why, 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 why are they, you know, teaching this and that? And, you know, I mean, you you got one group saying that the, that, that the mark of the beast is sleeping with the so-called white woman is Christianity. It's sin. You know, those teachings is going to lead to the Lord's elect questioning within themselves. Well, wait a minute. Great Millstone say that the MOTB is is uh, the RFID CHIP. That makes more sense than anything else. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. You got you got some false Israelite groups who are now saying that the RFID CHIP is the MOTB. But there's still. Holes in their doctrine, you know. You got guys saying that the the full moon is 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 the, is the a new moon. You know, you got guys saying that Edomites can make it. You know, you still guys you still got guys out there saying you know, you 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 can take the juicy juice. You should know what I mean by that. You know, you know they're going way off. <laughs> you know. So eventually something is going to click in the Lord's elect's mind to be like something ain't right with these guys. And then they're going to start watching great millstone videos and then it's going to click with them. And guess what? They're going to remain in the truth. You know, they're going to they're, they're going to remain. They're not going to leave. OK, for we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. OK. For we are glad when we are weak and ye are strong. And this also we wish even your perfection. Okay. Which leads me to, let's go to Titus, the book of Titus, chapter one, verse nine. Okay. And check this out. Okay. Titus chapter one, verse nine, holding fast the faithful word as he have been as he have been taught right that he may be able by sound doctrine to exhort and to convince the gainsayers and that's another thing too you're going to have members of the elect okay they're not going to just come in right away they're going to start off as being gainsayers which Let's look up what the word gainsayer is, because you're going to have members of the elect that are they're going to be gainsayers at first. But like the scriptures say in uh, Titus one and nine, they're going to be convinced afterwards. Like, oh, shit, these guys are telling the truth. OK, so let's um, see. Let me see. So here's the definition for gainsayer, right? Gainsayer definition, one who contradicts or denies that is alleged. An opposer. So you're going to have members of the elect. They're going to start off as as opposers at first. OK, I mean, hell, you even had men that was there when 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 uh, when Yahushai got got stone whipped, beaten. But what did Yahushai say? Well, what did Yahushai ask of Yahweh? Forgive them. The the uh, them was talking about the elect. Forgive them for they know not what they do if. Because you had members of the elect that was cheering, cheering on Yahweh Shai as Yahweh Shai was getting beaten, whipped, you know, kicked around, spat on. But Yahweh Shai prayed for, for the elect. He's Yahweh Shai asked Yahweh in his prayer. He said, Lord, Yahweh, forgive them for they know if not what they do. So guess what? You're going to have members of the elect that are gainsayers. They're going to be gainsayers at first. Of course, they're gonna, you know, they, they, they are going to be uh, following these false Israelite groups. They're probably going to be saying bad things about us. But guess what? 
there's going to come a time and point to where they're going to come around, you know. They might even scoff us, you know. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they teach this and that and that, you know. But guess what? Slowly but surely, they're going to start watching our videos and then it's going to click in. It's going to click with them. And then they're going to start looking at these false teachers and these false uh, uh, preachers amongst these different Israelite groups. And they're going to be like, wait a minute. Son ain't right with these niggas. <laughs> and then you know what's going to happen? They're going to end up leaving the congregation. That's why, uh, um, what was it, some years back, Nate was pretty much like, if, if y'all want to leave, y'all, I, I, see, bye, bye. <laughs> the door is right there. Hey, you know why Nate said that? Because there were there were guys of IUIC who, who were basically window shopping. And guess what? You got members amongst these false Israelite groups who are still window shopping. You know why? Because they're looking into the doctrine of these false teachers and false preachers out there. And something is clicking in their mind that something is not right with their doctrine. So now they're window shopping. And they're like, these guys are not right. These guys are not right. And then they're looking at Great Millstone and their teachings. And they're like, wait a minute. Some, something about these guys stands out from, from these other groups that I, I was once a part of. You see? You see? So then, you know, they're going to realize that, you know, all the bad things they were saying about, about Great Millstone and, 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 you know, the affiliates and, and all those who teach the same doctrine as the the, uh, the teachings of Great Millstone. And guess what? They're going to repent. They're going to repent. They're going to get on their knees. They're going to ask. They're going to beg Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah for forgiveness. And they, they're going to be converted. OK, so a, a gangsayer is one who can who contradicts or denies what is alleged and opposer related words. A person who gainsays others, a disagreeable person. So you're going to have those. They're going to disagree with Great Millstone at first. Even though they're of the elect, they're going to disagree with Great Millstone at first. But guess what? Something is going to click in them. Something is going to click in their minds. And guess what? They're going to be converted and come into the truth. And ultimately, they're going to receive salvation because they're of the elect. OK. So, hey, you, you false Israelite groups out there, you could do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. So Titus 1 and 9, holding fast the faithful word as he have been taught that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to, and to convince the gainsayers. Woo, you see that? And to convince the gainsayers. And ultimately, that's, that's why we were uh, given that doctrine. You know, that's why the Lord has given us, you know, the, the understanding to be able to teach the 100% unadulterated truth that we may what convince the gainsayers, the gainsayers that are amongst the elect, because we're not looking for the gainsayers amongst the two thirds. Y'all can eat shit and die for all we care. We don't, we don't give a fuck about y'all. OK, we're looking for the gainsayers amongst the elect, which are amongst these false Israelite groups. Which are which are ultimately they're going to come up. Uh, out of those false Israelite groups, and they're going to come to the true men of understanding that had the 100% doctrine, you know, which starts with the uh, apostles of Great Millstone, trickling down to our elders and our bishops of, of Great Millstone, down to the sincere brothers and, and, and believers of Great Millstone, you know, who, who are basically, you know, teaching the 100% correct doctrine, who ultimately hope to be of the elect and to be delivered out of this wicked country known as America, which also is known as Babylon, the great and the holy scriptures, you know. So ultimately, the true men of Great Millstone, uh, those are the true men who truly hope to be of the elect, who truly hope to receive salvation. Because, I mean, we can't forget, we also got spies and agents among among us, you know, your your future future Judas Iscariots, who you know who who's playing their part when when hell break loose, they they're gonna turn on brothers, you know. So I'm 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 not talking about you niggas. Yeah, y'all y'all gonna get y'all just due as well, you know. 
you you agents and, and you spies amongst great millstone the lord's got your number okay so keep that in mind while while you're secretly reporting back to esau okay the lord's got your number you know there's an angel hovering right above your ass waiting for the okie doke to, to get you but as for the true men of great millstone and the affiliates who truly hope to be of the elect to receive mercy and salvation from Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, peace, mercy, and blessings be upon you. Okay, so the, the and and you know the Lord has given us the understanding of the one hundred percent unadulterated truth to be able to go out there and preach the gospel that we may convince the gainsayers amongst the elect, you know, so that they can be awakened to the truth, coming to the truth. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and they'll ultimately receive salvation. And ultimately, you know, it's not us that's waking up the elect. It's the word of Yahweh that's waking up the elect. Okay? The word of Yahweh, which is Yahweh Shai. So it says, For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. Right? <laughs> and I, I don't I don't need to tell you who they are. Yeah, you false Israelite groups, you, you you know who you are, okay? Whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. And, and those are your sellouts today, okay? You're not going to hear about no, no sellouts amongst Great Millstone, okay? You're just not going to hear about it, okay? We, we, we ain't no sellouts. Well, okay, this, this truth is too precious to sell out over. You know, because the uh, Lord's will, if we're of the elect, the reward we're going to get for enduring the sufferings and the persecutions and being lied on and, and false things being said about us, uh, um, wicked things being said about us falsely. You know, there's a reward coming for that. And that reward is going to be great. And it's going to be so great. You know, you're not going to be able to defend them. Or, or, or you're not going to be able to the, the, these fee, these feeble minds wouldn't be able to handle if we was to see the reward that the, the that, that the Lord will, will give his, his elect and these weak feeble bodies our minds would not be able to handle it <laughs> okay so hey, that's also another good reason why we're going to need those new bodies I mean Lord's will you know if we're of the elect because in, in, in those new bodies, we're going to be able to handle that reward that the Lord is going to give give to us. Lord's will, if we're of the elect, you know, because the, the Bible even tells you, you know, the reward, the reward that we're going to get is going to greatly out reward. It's going to greatly outweigh, you know, the sufferings on this side. It's going to outweigh it by by by. Uh, I, I I would say a million landslides, but that's not even enough to describe how great the reward the elect is going to receive in the kingdom of heaven. And all we got to do is just hold fast to this truth, you know. Okay, so, hey, we're not going to sell out. Fuck Esau and fuck this kingdom. Fuck this world. Okay. Now, the other scripture I wanted to get. Uh, I can't believe. It. Oh, Romans 8. Right. Romans 8. Let's get Romans 8. Okay. Romans 8 and 31. Okay. What shall we say then to these things? Hmm. If Yahweh be for us, who could be against us? You see, if Yahweh be for us, who can be against us? And, and that that's a question that should be asked because, um, you know, you got guys coming up against us 
as if, you know, we came up with this thing. No, man, this gospel came from the heavens. OK. In the matter of fact, the uh, the Holy Spirit, the Ha-Racha Kodash, came, came, came down to chosen men on this planet to bring out the Holy Spirit from the heavens. OK. So what we're doing, this is not of our own will. This is of the will of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. So if Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai be for us, who could be against us? The answer is nobody. Not the Edomites. Not the angels in heaven. Not 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 no no heathens on this planet. And damn sure not not no niggas, no niggards. OK, and that includes the nigger woman, you you Negro, Latino, Native Indian women. Nobody could be against us. OK, so, hey, because we got this gospel, we got Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah on our side and Lord's will even until the end. OK, and, and, and I read this scripture to show you that no matter how many times you false Israelite groups come up against us, what, it, no matter what you do, it really works to be in our favor. So, hey, vocab Malone, IUIC, ISUPK, HODC, HOY, FOPI, Sakari, you know, HOD, AR, HODC. OK, hey, keep coming up against us because you're really only serving to do us a favor because it's only a matter of time before the Lord's elect come up out, 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 out of whatever, whatever false Israelite groups that they're in and, and really to come to us. Just like how the Lord is using vocab Malone to basically to gain more audience. Because, hey, it might be it might be a. A uh, hundred thousand people watching Bocab Malone, but but 50 members of the elect might might come to the realization that we have the 100 uh, percent truth. So, hey, keep doing what y'all doing, man. Y'all are only serving to bring the Lord's elect to to the true man of understanding, which starts with the men of great millstone, starting with the apostles down to our elders, our bishops, the regional heads, the leaders of the different Great Millstone camp, down to the brothers of Great Millstone who are doing the work of, of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai in truth and in sincerity. So with that, I pray and hope that you sincere brothers and few sisters have been edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom, is on to the next one.